Hello everyone, welcome to the Something Other podcast, and i uh, here today with my guest who's going to introduce himself. Hi, my name is TJ McNabb. You may know me from my artistic works, such as Ocean Guy or Chemical Attraction. Yep, so do you know what you're going to be doing here today? I actually don't. You came to my house, drugged me, and dragged me here against my will. No. Well... Today I'm going to be giving you just some fictional characters that you probably will not know, but you might, you might, we'll see. And uh, I'm going to be having you guess, guess things about them, like, based on their appearance. So this is judging based on appearance. Alright. Like their names, or maybe a job they have, things they do, uh, as, let's say the series they're from, because they're all animated characters. Oh. And maybe... Maybe a day in, maybe just a day, a normal day in their life. Here's our, here's our first one right here. Oh. So, who, who do you think that is? Um, I know, I know this series because I know this art style. This is, uh, this is Star versus the Forces of Evil, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the show. Well, she's standing in front of a, a chalkboard. So I'm gonna assume she's teacher occupation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did you say her name is? Uh, I actually watched this show. So, Lean closer to the mic. So I, I actually watched this show, so I could tell you that this this character is Mrs. Teacher. Mrs. Teacher. I think I'm done. Who is this? All right. Well, this is uh from, yeah from Star vs. Force of Evil. This is her teacher who on the first day of school when she got there, she turned her into a troll. <laughs> she, so for the rest of the show, she's just a troll. Like, uh, forever. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, forever. We got the next one coming up right here. This guy. Uh, this obviously his name is, is Cookie. That's, I mean, that's a cookie. I You're... mean, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. It's, that's a close one, but this, I've watched this show, so I know that this character's name is Mr. Cookie. Mr. Okay. Cookie. Of course, I wasn't trying to assume anything. He's actually the village shepherd. He herds all of the the little gumdrop sheep mm-hmm. into their, where they need to go. All right. Much like a dog would. Where's he from? What is he from? There's this little, there's this little uh, niche TV show. I think it's called Finn and Jake. Finn and Jake. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, yeah. that would be would be correct. It's like Quest regard. Hour or something. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's close. It's crunchy. Crunchy. And he's one of the Candy Kingdom citizens that Princess Bubblegum created in Adventure Time. Well, actually, something about his name that I'd li- I actually did just a you know a little bit of a side tangent. Um. Well. Crunchy here. He. I feel like it's kind of just, you know, like what if, what if he, what if he is a soft cookie, you know? I know I like my cookies soft. All right, so we're moving on to our next one right here. We got this guy. All right. Oh, I think I know what his name is. His name is Grilled Cheese. Okay. What gives you that inclination? I mean, he, look at him. He's literally, he's like, you know, as horses are, they're, they're branded mm. as, because they're livestock. And this one's branded with, with a pretty accurate depiction of like a cross section of a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm going to guess he's probably voiced by someone of cultural significance. I'm going to go with Bill Murray. Oh, okay. Interest, interesting guess right there. Is there anything that... Anything about you that tip you off to Bill Murray? Uh, well, a uh, c- common known fact about Bill Murray uh, is that he loves grilled cheese sandwiches. Mm, oh, yeah, he iconically. Is, he is wearing yellow, which is, you know, the color of Garfield the cat from mm-hmm. the cartoon. Uh, who who is, is voiced by Bill Murray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He is, in fact, he's voiced by Weird Al Yankovic. No, yeah, you don't say. Yeah. And you were right about the grilled cheese thing, but his name is Cheese Sandwich. Mm. Oh. Yeah, he shows up to Ponyville one day, claiming to be the the best, 
the best party planner in the in the land in all of Equestria, and he uh, plans Rainbow Dash's birthday party, and to the much to the dismay of Pinkie Pie. Why is it called a grilled cheese? Oh, oh, this is, uh... This is, uh, him from, uh, um... Uh, what was it called? What is it? Uh... Coco. Coco, okay. yeah! What was his name? Uh... It was Coco? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this is Coco. So this is Coco. This so is this, Coco. Is, this is Coco okay. from Coco. Now, he really liked to play the guitar, and his, his grandma didn't like it. Yeah, and, uh... They died. And then his, his grandma, um died yeah and then he went real sad movie and then he died and went to visit his grandma mm -hmm. i mean close but uh he is not from the movie coco he's from one piece one piece yeah the reason why he's a skeleton is he ate a devil fruit devil fruits give characters in one piece of powers he ate the revive revive fruit when he died um he didn't he he didn't die. No, he, he just didn't die. And uh, he, he wait, would continue wait, wait. living. I'm confused. If he ate the revive, revive fruit, it wasn't, it wouldn't, it, 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 wouldn't that mean he would have been brought back like double? All, all, all the devil fruits in one piece is just the, a word twice and then fruit. Like oh. gum, gum, fruit. What do you suppose gun, that is? Gun, gum, fruit? gum. Do you gun, like gun. Have two pistols. Gum. My gun. M M. My hands are good. We're gonna move on to this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is a tough one. Uh, this is obviously hit show fanboy and chum chum. Okay. Oh one, yeah. It's one of my personal favorites as right. a kid. Um. Continue. What do you suppose? Clocks are ticking. This character confuses me. I mean, the purple eyes and the blue hair. I mean, that's just not how people look, is it? You'd be, you'd be right about that. Yeah, not naturally. You're not born like that. Is Tell me it? more. What? Is that it? Yeah. The fourth Powerpuff Girl from the 2016 reboot. The fourth Powerpuff Girl? Yes. The secret fourth Powerpuff Girl. Professor Utonium did everything he did to create the original three Powerpuff Girls. Sugar, spice, everything nice. But he accidentally added a secret chemical ingredient, chemical W. Oh. Oh. oh this is. Uh, this is. Um, this is one of them. Uh, Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, from. Uh, from, from those uh, from, teenage. From the. Uh, teenage mutants. Yeah. Like the teenage the, mutants. The, the big old lizard people. The teenage mutant lizards. Yeah. yeah. He's the one that. He's the one that fights with the. Uh, you know the like the the can of mace. Okay. The, yeah. The mace. The, the mace. classic mace can. Yeah. He 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 walks up to villains and he he hits them with his, his catchphrase of buzz off and then he maces, he them. maces oh, yeah. them. Oh yeah. I think this is uh, this is uh, the Virginia. Virginia. Uh, Virginia. Yeah, Virginia. He's got a, a v. V. Oh yeah. yeah. That, that makes. You know sense. how all, they're all named after. Uh, philosophers yeah, and scholars Renaissance. of their time. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were named after states. Yeah. Mich Michigan. Ralph Alino. Ralph Macchio. I've been to both of those places. Yeah, and uh, and Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. What is what a right. state, you know? Yeah. My uncle's from there. Well, is that all you had to tell us about yeah. this yeah, character? Yeah. This is Virginia, the Lizard Man. Mm. Okay. This is actually the the fifth Ninja Turtle, uh, and she is the only female. Oh. Her name is Venus De Milo. Was trained by a ninja magician, and so she has magic powers. A ninjician. Yeah, a ninjician, if you will. Oh. Oh, this is um. 
Oh, I, I used to watch this show all the time as yeah, a kid. This was really big um, uh, back, uh, back when, uh, yeah, this was really big. Uh, I think his name is... Yeah, he was, I'm trying to remember his he name. Like, he, he like, he turned himself into like a cucumber that one time. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, he did do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the humorous. Fun, that was the f yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. Funniest thing anyone has ever seen. Uh, but what's his name? Oh, I just can't think of it. Martin. It was like Martin and Martin, right? Because they were both named Martin. Oh yeah, Martin and Martin. That's why they were because yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he had the little guy. The little guy. He had the little guy on his way. Yeah. Yeah. Martin and Martin. He would, he would pull him out and say, Martin. He was yeah. He would shake yeah. him around. Shake him around. He'd say, oh, 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 geez, Martin. Yeah. I'm, I'm Martin over here. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's Martin from Martin and Martin. Martin from Martin and Martin. Okay, well that's a good guess, but uh, uh, I regret to inform you that his name is not Martin, and the show he comes from is not called Martin and Martin. He's I'm from. Sorry, I used to really like the show. Hey man, I understand. I the season finale of Martin and Martin was just a tearjerker on us all. Yeah, you know, it's, it holds a special place in my mind. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Martin. That's all the time we have. Today, folks, it's all the characters. We've run through them all. The guests have been great today. Is there anything you want to plug? Um, my coordinates are three four two point one four right, north. Right now. Right now. Three five seven six point five. Is that where, is that where we west. are? West. Wait, is that where we are? Yes. Were you were you drugged and rang here? I actually, I gotta, I gotta go. So, um... You bring weird guests on the show. Well, thank you for tuning, tuning into my podcast, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye. There's a next one? I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs>